Guys, we got a new dev update and we have to talk about it. Let's hear what Riot is cooking up. Folks, I'm Andre, also known as Medla. And I'm Jeremy, <laughs> aka Riot Brightman. And we're back with another dev update. Six it's minutes the real this time. Andre this time. It's me. <laughs> today is Tuesday, March 26th. So as usual, everything that happens after today won't be covered in this video. March 26th. So that was about two weeks ago. Today we'll be joined by the modes team to talk a bit about Arena and an upcoming mode that we've teased a little bit about earlier this year. Then we'll talk about the updated champion mastery system and Lee Sin's visual update. Here's Eduardo and Selena to talk about modes. Hey everyone, I'm Eduardo Cadmus Cortejoso, team lead for modes on League. Hi, I'm Selena Chuchu Chuang Liu, the delivery lead on the modes team. First, we want to give you a little update on Arena. In its most recent run, it was pretty successful, though we did see play hours decrease quite a bit over the course of its run. We're making some improvements this time to try to give it a little bit of extra variety and longevity and giving it a longer run as a result to see how interest holds up over a longer period of time. Our goal with Arena is to be a great mode to play when you're looking to experiment with crazy build ideas or you just love to react to more unpredictable situations, a mode for dreamers and the memers. So, in order to do that, when Arena is back on PBE, you'll be seeing some changes that the team has been working on for a while. First, the lobby is going to increase to 16 players. We want each game of Arena to be a little different from the last, but still competitive. So, increasing the amount of teams means that you shouldn't be able to see the same pairs of champions over and over again. I think that's good. One of the other changes the team has been working on is a substantial update to the item system. This version of Arena has a new, unique class of items, Prismatic. Prismatic items are build-defining in a Prismatic. way that should shape okay. future build decisions during a match of Arena. For example, the Demon King's Crown increases your basic stats by a lot. But here's the fun part. It increases each round you win. But if you lose a round, you actually lose more than you gain. So make sure you become pretty unkillable. Okay. The way in which you also get items has been changed. You'll no longer only purchase items from the shop. Now you can actually gamble using anvils to purchase some items at a lower cost, just okay. a little bit less reliably. We're still experimenting with Arena's next form. Our hope is that you'll tell us how this goes and how we can continue to grow Arena into something that, that you're be really excited to be part scary of. To put forward. into the game. You can read a lot more about our goals for Arena and the changes in the dev blog coming out next week. Let's go right. snowball the mode so a now, lot, I think. So now, onto something we touched upon back in January. We told you all that we were cooking up another new game mode and we wanted to tell you all a little bit more about it today. We mentioned that we were making something that would be a little different take on League's core gameplay, but a bit more chill comparing to Arena. Okay. Well, after months of work, it's time to let you all know that we are currently working on our first Bullet Heaven Survivor PvE game mode. In this mode, you'll be able Bullet to- Bullet Heaven Survivor PvE. Okay. Fight against hordes of enemies by yourself or with friends. Okay. So whether you're looking for a challenge or you just want to have some fun with friends, we want this to be something everyone can enjoy. I know a lot of us, myself included, have some pretty fond memories of previous PvE modes like Odyssey or Star Guardian. That's good. But this time we wanted to make something markedly different. And while we aren't quite ready to show you much yet, we can give you a little bit of an idea what? what this is. What? What am I watching? Hello? So it's a lot of minions and a fury dogs and then there's like a ponton oh no there's like zets in a ponton cone like in a you know what I mean? in like a round and what the fuck are these eggs on the ground? <laughs> okay honestly I I think it looks cool looks like early in development. Oh, and did we mention it'll be coming out alongside our upcoming mid-year event this year? Well, that's it for modes for now, but we hope you'll enjoy the return of Arena, and we'll be back to share more news about our upcoming Bullet Heaven Survivor game mode in a future dev update. Bullet Thanks for playing, Heaven. and we'll see you all in Arena. In January, we shared that we're updating the Champion Mastery System. When we announced it, there was some feedback from you all regarding the changes, and one area of feedback was that it felt bad to grind for titles and then lose them the next split. And we agree. So we've made the champion-specific titles permanent. We're also changing the way you gain mastery points. Currently, your mastery score is impacted by your team's performance overall. But with this update, it'll only account for your own performance instead of factoring in your team's overall average. We're also changing how much wins and losses are weighed. 
So even if you lose your game, you'll still progress your champion mastery. Honestly, don't really today. care about. We're targeting this. to launch the system with the changes we just mentioned on patch 14.10 on May 15th. Okay. It's also been a bit since we talked about Lee Sin, so we wanted to give you a little update on how his visual overhaul is going. As one of our older and most iconic champions, Lee Sin needed a lot of work to meet our modern art and tech standards, it looks much while better. maintaining the feel that his mains have learned and come to love over the years. This includes things like rebuilding his model from the ground up, making his appearance more consistent across all of his skins, that looks really adding insane. new fluid animations and updated visual effects, and if you listen closely, you might even be able to hear quite a few new sound effects. We also took this opportunity, no you're not, Range. to address some issues players have noted over the years. Look at his smile, bro. No, Look not. at his to smile. Players have noted over the years. With a keen eye on improving gameplay, oh. player, we made some bigger changes to how his abilities look, and some skins like Storm Dragon Lee Sin, reducing the noisiness of his visual effects, and bring the skin's design more in line with his base skin. If you want to learn more details of visual effects, and some skins like Storm Dragon Lee Sin, reducing the noisiness of his visual effects, and bring the skin's design more in line with his base skin. Honestly, it looks the same to process, me. Check out the dev blog that's out now. You can expect to see Lee Sin's visual update to be released with patch 14.9 on May 1st. We also have 14, a 9. small, okay. After MSI. tiny update on Timo. We're targeting his update to be ready later this year with patch 14.20. All right, we wanted to okay. give you a quick update on how we're handling ranked rewards now that we have three ranked splits per year. Similar to last year, we plan on having a unique Victoria skin per ranked split. And since the first split is ending in a few weeks, we wanted to let you know that Cogmore would be receiving Cogmore. the first Victoria skin of the year. Then, for split two, the reward will be Victoria Sona. Now, if Sona. you unlock the Victoria skins for all three splits, you will also receive a Victorious Border for each of the skins at the end of the year. Whoa! That will display your highest rank across the year. Border. That's it for today. As a reminder, please do check out the dev blogs to learn more about some of the things we discussed. Also, before the next dub update, the Empyrean themed MSI event will have started in beautiful Chengdu, China. So make sure you tune in to see which team punches their ticket to Worlds and who earns an additional seed for their region. Also, Arena will have returned. So check that out with the changes the team mentioned earlier. Uh, before we wrap, I'd also like to say a few nice things to Jeremy here. Many thanks for all the work on League over the years. It has been greatly appreciated. Hope you have a wonderful time on sabbatical and really excited to see what you jump onto when you get back to Riot afterwards. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, everyone. It's been an honor. And we'll see you soon. So I guess the love guy's leaving. He said this already a long time ago, right? Um, well, uh, honestly, Lisa looks fantastic, honestly. Like, look at this. Fucking beautiful. What the fuck? That looks insane. Like, I mean, they have to do this, right? This is like one of the most popular champions in League. Like, this is like... This champ is so popular, especially in Asia. It's crazy. Yo! Yo, what was that? What was that down there, huh? Flexing your muscles? Well, Riot, what happened there? <laughs> anyway, um... Keeping an eye out for opportunities. Prestige Nightbringer Lee Sin has like a, like an eye, what the fuck? And the eye is also moving. Wow. Holy, okay, this guy knows martial arts like crazy. There's like different weapons and different skins. I mean, this is gonna be amazing, honestly. One of the worst things about listening is, is his base model. And right here, you have a really nice comparison how much better his base model looks. Honestly, the animations and the way he fights, like you can kind of see he has so many different fight styles. This is so fucking cool. I think listen might just like after this update, listen, listen might genuinely have the best model in the game because it's the newest but you can also probably they're probably gonna put so much work into this model compared to like something like Timo. Timo should be way more simplistic than this wait you can see Q comparison watch this one look how he's flying with the Q wow okay E that's the new E look how he's moving and the E looks like Way bigger slap on the ground. And this is... What? Um, on the topic of floating, one of the glaring problems of Lee was his tendency to float around sometimes way outside of his feedback, uh, hitbox during the animations. Listen, idle variant, dance and taunt, I'll have him move outside of his stationary hitbox. Yeah, that was pretty bad, in my opinion. Keep him inside the hitbox without removing his practice fighting forms. 
Oh, okay. This is, yeah, this is much better. Yeah, this is much better. This is much better. Holy, look at this. Wow, that looks so fucking cool, no? No, seriously, this is gonna be the best jump in the game, like, uh, model-wise. This is insane! And then this Listen skin right here has like a unique weapon that he doesn't have in other skins. I forgot like kind of what uh, the weapon is called. Nun trunks? Is that what, what? Yeah, that's the weapon called. VFX for the VFX on ACU or main goals are updating old VFX. This is like his Q animation right here. Yeah, I mean, it looks really clean. It looks really clean. His W, yeah, it has like the modern shield look that the old listen doesn't have. Oh my god, this skin. Wow, that looks so cool, no? Wow, that looks so cool. He has like a, a boxing glove above him. What is this? This is Playmaker Lee. He throws like a football. That's cool. Storm Dragon Lee. Honestly, I can't really notice that much of a difference in this one. Maybe the dragon looks a bit better, but that's about it. Loots, thank you for Twitch Prime. Audio, okay. Okay, that's the old one. Not the new one. That's still the old one. Okay. Not the new one. Ooh, okay. It is a bit different. It's a bit different. R. Oh, okay. This one has. I don't like this change too much, but this one, in my opinion, feels better. Why look when you can listen? Another thing was to make it more obvious through sound when listen is able to enable to recast Q, W, and E. Okay. Is there any difference? Oh. Oh, okay, there is a difference. Okay, got it. Wait, I should show the... Oh, okay, okay. The audio sustainability, basic attack mater materials. Wait, it's a different sound for each thing he attacks based on material. That is so insane, right? That is insane! Bro, they put so much effort into this. The new listen is insane! Look, it's even different ground materials on E. See, it has the water effect here. Because it's in the river. It's like the ground effect again. Wow, that's insane. Listen W. This is the old one. Ooh, okay. Okay. I like this one more. I like the new one more. Um, that's insane. Listen, they did a great job. Then we have rank rewards. I mean, it's just like a Kogma and Sona skin. I personally don't really care about them. I don't think they look that good. At least the Kogma one to me doesn't look that good. Then here's like how many rewards you're gonna get. So basically, you're gonna get like more emotes, more icons, more champions, more skins, one more skin. Yeah, whatever it is. Okay, and then we have arena. Arena, like this sneak peek right here. Not sure exactly. This is the, the new game mode. I think a PvE game mode is very needed in the game. I, like this is obviously, we can't really judge based on this, but it, it sounds cool. Arena sounds kind of cool too. This is the new Kogma. I mean, it actually doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of clunky though. I don't know if Kogmo is the type of champion who ha who would have like this type of armor on it. Kind of weird to me a bit. It's interesting though. Not bad, Riot. Not bad. You guys outdone yourself right now with this the, the block. The listen looks amazing. <laughs> 